Hello, David here, and the project for today is restoring the leather with some leather conditioner. In the last video, I cleaned the leather with the Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner. I'm using some of this Chemical Guys Leather Conditioner. I see it's got some aloe with vitamin E in it, and it'll probably be handy in case you get stranded somewhere. You could just eat your upholstery. No, you don't want to do that, really. It's not good for you. Anyway, this will uh, put some of the moisture back into the leather that leached out from age, ultraviolet light, and the, uh, the effect of the cleaner itself. So the instructions are to shake well, wipe or sponge on, allow to penetrate, wipe dry if desired, and reapply as needed. So I'm not going to, uh, to wipe it off. Uh, I've let the car interior dry out for two days since I cleaned it and I'm just going to let the car dry out for another two or three days after I apply the conditioner. I don't need the car to drive it. It's, uh, it's a second car for me so it's going to sit. So I'm going to start in the middle. so that I don't get the conditioner on me. Be aware because some manufacturers put leather just on the facing surfaces, the upholstery. Other manufacturers put leather on the front and sides and the backs. I don't know what Toyota does, so I'm going to put the conditioner on all the sides that I think are leather. Because I don't know if there's any vinyl being used. If vinyl's being used, there might be some other protectorant to use. I like to use Armor All for my vinyl. Don't forget to do the steering wheel because that's leather too. And don't go driving with a slippery steering wheel. The stuff does soak in pretty quickly, but always be careful when you're refinishing your steering wheel. It's got a nice leathery smell. Okay, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell. And we will see you later.